All right, so guys, recently Windows 11 23H2 has gone out of support, all right? And many people know that this laptop right here is my HP Pavilion V6R, right? but well, let's talk about this later, all right? Let's go talk about Windows 11 23H2, 24H2, and 25H2, all right? So after 24H2, basically what happened was they started requiring SSE 4.2. Now they also do require pop, pop count, but if you don't have SSE 4.2, that I mean, pop count is literally just part of SSE 4.2. So yeah, that's why they need it. And you see here, there's no way of removing it because it's literally like a hard-coded instruction inside of Windows 11 25H2, all right, and 24H2. Currently, this laptop right here is running 23H2, all right. And in terms of and CPU-wise, this has a Core i3 370M, all right. This is a first-gen Intel mobile CPU, all right. And since it's not a Pentium or something like that, that means that this fully supports SSD 4.2, all right. So this should work. Now the problem is, let's go and restart it. Problem is, is that I'm afraid that Windows 11 25H2 may require UEFI. This has only a BIOS, so, you know, like BIOS, not UEFI. So let's go ahead and get into the boot menu here and pray that it works. All right, come on. Come on. This is taking a little while. All right. So let's go and talk about what CPU support SC 4.2, all right? So basically any Athlon 2s like the HP Pavilion G56 will not work. They have SSC 4A, not 4.2, will not work. And like I said, you cannot just like remove, it's not like, a, you know, like one of those dumb requirements like TPM or secure boot. All right, there it is. All right, um, which one is it? F9, is that F9 or F9? All right. All right, okay, there you go. All right, so we have it. I don't have anything installed in this SSD, in this SSD that is important, so we should be fine. All right, this is taking, this is probably gonna take a little bit to boot up here, because this USB 2.0. USB 3.0 was added, I think, in second or third gen Intel laptops, so yeah. All right, anyway, so basically, you need either an Intel Core i3 first gen or an AMD FX processor in order to run the latest version of Windows 11. All right, that's good news. All right, so the install is working perfectly fine. Not sure if that means that it'll work fully. I'm not sure if this is like a good sign or anything, or if it's just you know like not really important. Let's go ahead and zoom into the laptop screen here. All right. So, are we into the installer yet? Yes. Oh, this is a fancy installer too. Um, is this? Yeah, this is maximum brightness because there's no display drivers. All right, let's go ahead and set it to like that. All right. Next. Next. Install Windows 11. Yes. I don't have anything important on this computer anymore anyways uh i don't have a product key let's see if this this should fully work i mean if the install loads that's a good sign the thing that i'm afraid is that after this gets finished the bios the computer's gonna have trouble booting into windows because this has bios type firmware not uefi but i do have a backup solution all right let me just go ahead and bring it over all right, so this is a pro book of unknown origins i'm not gonna let you know what it is but basically this is a pro book that um, has a third gen Core i5, and I know it has UEFI, all right? Because it literally went to the BIOS, and it literally allows you to boot off of UEFI sources. So yeah, this definitely has UEFI type firmware. So if this doesn't work, which hopefully it does, I do have a backup solution, all right? Now, I know what you guys are gonna say, why don't you just install it onto the Ultrabook? Well, um, the Ultrabook screen is broken, and I haven't bought a replacement yet. Um, yeah, <laughs> I will buy a replacement, but it's just that currently money's a little dry for me right now, so I'll go and let you know as soon as I can, all right? All right, so um, a decent amount of you might notice, why am I not using Ventoid? Well, for three reasons. First off, I don't really feel like waiting a long time to download Tiny11 or a custom version of Windows 11 that has the system requirements removed, like TPM, Secure Boot. Second off, um, I'm too lazy to just, you know, like go into the registry editor and do that crap, because sometimes it doesn't even work. Third off, um, this is using Rufus, so you know, it automatically removes the requirements, so please focus, phone. Come on, okay, there you go, next. We're getting a few things, but I think it's still, there you go, okay. Let's not mess with it anymore. My phone's camera glass is a little bit cracked, so it's kind of confusing it. Luckily though, this is, this lens this, with this zoom isn't affected, so yeah. All right, it's please waiting. All right, let's go and hope that this works, all right? Because if it doesn't, then I'm gonna be screwed. Please wait. Anyway, so in terms of performance, this laptop should be all right. It's got eight gigabytes of RAM and an i 3 m Ooh, this is because um, it's not UEFI, so there's only two partitions. 
Oh, wait, it, oh yeah, you want to know um, something interesting about the BIOS type firmware? It can only handle four partitions, all right? UEFI can handle 128. So, yeah. All right. Well, this is actually called MBR, which is for BIOSes. So yeah, MBR can only handle four partitions. Let's go and... Ugh. All right. Install Windows 11 Home? Oh, no, no, no. You, we are not getting home. We want Pro. I have to go all the way back. Oh my gosh, I have to restart the setup. Give me a second. All right, I'm back. We now have Windows 11 Pro selected and set Windows 11 Home. I'm very smart. Let's go ahead and go. Certain features may have additional requirements. Hmm. No, nah, we're fine. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we totally meet the official system requirements. All right, 5% installing. Let's go ahead and fast forward this boy. I'm back. Ah, Windows 11, stop doxing me. Oh my god, let me just skip this part really quickly. Alright, so I also forgot to mention, I fixed the Wi-Fi card in this, finally. Holy crap, that took a while. Um, but yeah, I'm actually surprised that this works on a non-UEFI device, so that's alright, I'm happy with that. Oh yeah, and it doesn't even, it's not even like running too bad either, like, I mean, on a, on a lot of laptops, the scroll wheel will lag, but... It's not, especially since there's no drivers, it should lag, but it's actually not lagging, that's interesting. Let's see if we have sound drivers. We do! Holy crap! This isn't a bad experience. I'm gonna go ahead, after this installs, um, I'm gonna go ahead and do another time lapse here. After this installs, I'm gonna go ahead and um, uh, do, what do you call it? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna do general usage ben benchmarks test, alright? Now, I know you guys wanna see the gaming benchmarks, but. I already have that, okay? Link to the video right here, okay? It, you, you should go watch that. It is running on 23H2, but like I said, there's not gonna be really much difference other than maybe a little bit of RAM usage and maybe 1% more CPU usage, but that's about it. So yeah, let's go ahead and wait for this thing to update. I'm gonna go ahead and um, set it up. And once we're onto the update screen, I'll go ahead and record again, all right? So uh, yeah. Alright, so guys, we have finally done it. We have gotten to the update progress, alright? The updating part. Also, I, lo I love it how drivers already are installed. That's a nice feature. Let's see how well this runs the, um, uh, this game right here. Hang on a second. Where is it? No, They removed it! So basically, what they're, what would happen is there's a, this little web game, like, with, with, like, surfing or whatever. And basically, it would be kind of funny because if you didn't have drivers installed and you had a, and you had like a slower CPU, it would actually lag. It's a 2D game, but they removed it. No, oh, now we have a quiz for features and and Copilot. Shut up, Copilot. No one likes you. Man, I miss the OG Surf game. You know what? I miss the um uh, back in Windows XP. They, I'm pretty sure you could play Mine Minefield or whatever that game was called. No, it literally is called Minefield. I'm, I'm dumb. But yeah, basically you were able to play Minefield during the set process during Windows, in certain Windows XP installations. So, yeah. <sighs> Let's go and fast forward it. Damn you, Windows 11.
guys, the updating process has finished. I need to go ahead and sign in because it's Windows 11 25 H2. So yeah, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and see you guys on the desktop. All right, so we are finally on the desktop. Let's go and open up Task Manager and see how well this thing is doing. All right. Um, it's, oh, um, 90% isn't great. Alright, so this Core i3 is kind of, um, maxed out. <laughs> what is it even doing? Okay, at least the RAM is an SSD are maxed out, but what's, what's the CPU doing? Task Manager, Windows Widgets, ah yes, the Windows 11 Special. Alright, so, let me just go ahead and configure it. And I'll go ahead and just show you the real-time experience, alright, of configuring this laptop. Now, you see here, this laptop is actually very, very usable still, right? It's got 550 CPU-Z points, meaning that this is about the speed of one of the faster, fastest core 2 duos out there, all right? So it's still pretty decent. Call it oldest, by the way. Also, I'm going to have to black this out because I love, I love it when, you know, they try and, like, when they try and dox me. Oh, wow, I have to black a lot of this out. All right. Um, yeah, because it shows my Microsoft email address. I don't want that to be shown. Alright, okay, we're back. Um, I'm going to have to black it out again. Sorry, guys. But, look, you're blaming on Microsoft for showing my email right there. So, uh, yeah. Alright, okay, let me just go ahead and see here. Oh my god, there's Copilot. Why is Microsoft Family on here? Why is Edge already installed? Well, I mean, I guess this is Windows 11, so, you know, it's unpin Outlook, I don't like you, um, I don't really like you too much either. Um, Edge, you can go shut up. You can also go shut up Microsoft Copilot. I'm just gonna open it just to see how well it runs here. Oh, never mind, it doesn't even... I'm not gonna sign in Microsoft 365 Copilot. Alright, okay, let's go ahead and see here. Oh, yeah, that's about as bloated as I remember. <laughs> yeah, not great. Alright. Let's go ahead. Oh my god, we already have an app ad for WhatsApp. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's just unpin a lot of this crap. Unpin. Why is there so much stuff that's pinned? Solitaire. I'm good, thanks. Uh, LinkedIn. Why is that here? CPU is also floored, by the way. Yeah, this CPU isn't having a good time in Windows 11. The full version, anyways. But actually, I'm pretty sure it's just that it's doing some updates and setting up tasks in the background. So, yeah. It should be better. Why is Microsoft Edge running? Gotta love when Microsoft Edge just sort of, like, forces itself onto you. Alright, let's go ahead and see how well this runs the modern web, alright? Um... No. No. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Yep. Oh yeah, we have all of my um, uh, my bookmarks because it like like to log in automatically for some reason. All right, let's go ahead and go head over to YouTube. I'm gonna have to go ahead and bl black some of this out again. No, I don't want it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just, uh, cut, cut to, um, uh, when I actually get into YouTube here. Alright, let's go and see how long it takes to load. Alright, this actually isn't the slowest, but, I mean, I guess, you know, it's also sort of, um, maxed out. It's maxing out our Core i3, so, yeah. It's not too bad, though, even with Windows 11. General usage is not bad. Yeah, overall, this laptop is still definitely usable, even with 25H2. It is a little on the slower side these days, because... That ain't great, but it's not, at least it's not maxed out the, all the time, okay? Yeah, as you can see, there's, there's just spikes. It's not maxed out all the time. And also, our RAM is doing pretty fine. Only f f half of it is being used, which, it's not great, but this is Windows 11. It's actually pretty decent, considering Windows 11. So, uh, yeah. And also, the Wi-Fi speed on this thing isn't bad. Oh, yes, you gotta love Microsoft 365 Copilot and Edge just sort of there. Let's see how much percentage of my memory it's being used, because I can't really do math that quickly. Oh yeah, Microsoft Edge is hogging up about 4% of my memory, and Copilot's hogging up about f about 4 to 5, so yeah. Yeah, this isn't great. Microsoft should seriously fix this crap, but they never will, alright? Because they're money hungry. And when money is there, then they don't care, alright? 
So, uh, yeah, guys. Anyways, this has been an interesting experience. It's... Slaptop's not doing too great. I mean, it's kind of lagging with the animations here, but I kind of blame that more on the GPU, because... The Intel HD graphics, I mean, it does have proper driver support for Windows 11, but it's just kind of slow. As you can see, it's kind of laggy. So, yeah, it's not great. But still, though, it's definitely usable, all right? Definitely usable, all right, in 2025. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, see you next video, all right? If you found this interesting, make sure to like the video and subscribe, all right? As I'm desperate for subscribers, all right? I want to hit at least but 1K, not by the end of this year, but... At least by February, all right? Feb actually, March. Let's make it March, just to make it easier. Oh, yeah, there you go. The background process has slowed down, so now it's not overheating. And Well, well it's not overheating. It's just that it's not, you know, being floored constantly. So, yeah. Never mind. Minecraft? What the? Oh, my God. I one drive. I have to stop this. <sighs> I forgot OneDrive likes to do this randomly. Alright, but anyways guys, see you next video, alright? And remember to subscribe!